Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today we have Game 4 of the American League Championship Series with the Seattle Mariners facing the Detroit Tigers at Tigers Stadium. Pitching today for the Seattle Mariners is Rob Dressler and he will be facing Jack Morris of the Detroit Tigers. So we find ourselves down uh, two games to one. We have lost our advantage after winning game one of the uh, series back in Seattle. And now today is really a pivotal game. Uh, we have Jack Morris uh, going on full rest, but uh, making his second start. He pitched game one and he got the victory then. He pitched really well and we need to win today's game. Uh, because I think what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to, I mean, depending on the results of this game, I think we're going to go with uh, Bruce Robbins to start in uh, Game 5 instead of Dave Rosema, who's proven to be unreliable at this point. So uh, we need today's victory. Let's go with Morris. And worst case scenario is if we do win today, he might actually start Game 7 uh, if we can make it that far. So... Having said that, let's get started with today's ball game. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate uh, each and every one of you. We are on the home stretch of the season. Uh, as you can see here, Jack Morris is on the mound. I uh, just wanted to take a look real quick. Yeah, he went seven innings, gave up uh, two runs, one uh, earned run. He only had one strikeout in that game. And... Uh, we have the entire bullpen available today. The good news is Tom Hume is back. I don't know if you consider that good news or not, but uh, Brian Kelly uh, went back to um, the 40-man roster, and uh, Tom Hume is back in our bullpen. The lineup today, we've decided to resort back to the small ball uh, lineup in Game 1. With one major exception, Eddie Murray is on the bench. We will not start him at first. We're going to start Howard Johnson at first base. He uh, is rated an 80 at first base, so he can play there. He's never had a major league game at first. But he does have the most hits of any Tiger uh, so far in the ALCS. So we have to get him in the ballgame. And Guy Solars will be our third baseman with Mickey Hatcher going to the DH role. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Seattle Mariners today. Batting leadoff, playing second base, is Julio Cruz. Batting second at shortstop is Spike Owen. Batting third in center field is Dave Henderson. Batting cleanup in left field is Ricardo Sines. Batting fifth in catching is Tom Pagnazzi. Batting sixth, playing first base, is Bruce Bochty. Batting seventh and DHing is Bob Pate. Batting eighth at third base is Dave Edler. And batting ninth in right field is Joe Simpson. Okay, one more quick look at Jack. Uh, you know his season record at this point. Uh, he's making his second start in the playoffs. Again, really solid start. Um, only one strikeout. I would love to see him get less balls put into a game, uh, you know, put into play. If you take a look at the game log, as a reminder, uh, he hasn't really pitched that much against Seattle this season. The only game in his last 20 uh, was the game he came in in relief. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. That was a, that was a crucial game. Without that victory and uh, Jack coming in to get the save, we would not be here right now. Um, so uh, we owe him for the win in game one. We owe him for that save. So we'll see if he can come through for us today. There's the Tigers defensive alignment. You take a look over at Howard, Howard Johnson at first. He's um, got that 80 rating, as I mentioned. we got Kevin Bass in there in right field instead of uh, Eddie Miller. And uh, Lance Parrish behind the catcher. Behind the catcher. Behind home plate. Here is a Julio Cruz leading off against Jack Morris. Game four underway. Cruz, ground ball to third. 
And Solars, as you might expect, makes it an easy out. One out. Next up, Spike Owen. Three for three in a walk against Jack Morris this season. And he pops it up. It's going to carry weight to the outfield. I thought that was an infield pop-up to Trammell. Instead, it goes all the way to left center field. Gibby makes the catch. Two down. Dave Henderson crushes it to right center field. That is frustrating. His second home run of the playoffs. And the Tigers are down one to nothing. So crucial that we get ahead in this ball game. Here's Ricardo Sines. And he lines it to center. Dawson makes the catch. So we're down one to nothing. Go to the bottom of the first. Here's the Tigers lineup rundown. Uh, betting leadoff, playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting cleanup and DHing is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth at first base is Howard Johnson. Batting sixth in catching is Lance Parrish. Batting seventh in right field is Kevin Bass. Batting eighth in center field is Andre Dawson. And batting ninth at third base is Guy Solars. Let's take a look at Rob Dressler. Dressler, 34 starts during the regular season, 12 and 12 with a 519 ERA. More walks than strikeouts. We love that. Opponents are batting 285 against them, 13 wild pitches, four complete games, and a shutout this year. Uh, his fastball tops out at 88 miles an hour. He is a ground ball pitcher. His best pitch is his sinker, rated in 82, and he's got three other pitches. Fastball, slider, and curve all under average. And overall, he's rated in 80, so he is exactly average for this game. Uh, take a look at his log, would you? Take a look. Uh, yeah, so he's pitched one game against us. He got a no decision. Wow, he went eight and two-thirds innings, giving up two runs on seven hits with four walks and two strikeouts. So, um, I mean, I think we can... I mean, this guy lost 22 games just two years ago, uh, That our first sim season. So he was horrible. And uh, now he seems like he's put it together, put up a decent season. And take a look at the uh, defensive alignment for the Mariners, the same as the first three games with Gold Lover Henderson out there in center field. Here's Sweet Lou leading off against Rob Dressler. Lou hits a line drive to right field. Joe Simpson makes the play, one down. Next up, here's Alan Trammell. And Trammell goes to right field for a base hit. Do we want to go for two? I want to, but I won't. Trammell on first. Here's Gibby. Gibby's 0 for 9 with a walk. So far, three walks this series. We need Gibby to get off the schneid. I'm going to let him take a cut. He does have a home run in his career against Dressler. A line drive over the head of the third baseman, Edler. That should have been a double. I don't know why it wasn't, but Trammell will hold at third so first and third one down and this is absolutely a perfect time to hit and run and we have the perfect batter to do it here's mickey hatcher oh one count and a flip to right field hey <laughs> there we go game is tied travel scores gibby goes to third rbi single for hatcher and we've got our best hitter at the plate Howard Johnson, 6 for 11 with two doubles and two triples so far. Uh, we're going to let him swing away. Uh, not, I mean, we could hit and run here, but he's not a hit and run hitter. He's got a lot of pop. And, um, I mean, he's been clutch so far. Ground ball to first. And a double play will end the inning. 
Maybe I should have went with a um, sack fly, but ha um, I don't know. I, I really didn't think that would uh, that would work in that situation. Maybe I'm wrong. We do tie the game up, though. It's all square at one. We go to the top of the second. Pagnazzi leading off. Pagnazzi pops it up to Sweet Lou. Lou makes the play. One down. Next up is Bruce Bochty. Having a pretty good ALCS so far. Here he cut, hits a comebacker to Morris. That's the second out. And Bob Pate. Man, I hate this guy. We have a lot of hate for Pate. Ground ball up the middle. Trammell makes the play. Okay, we go to the bottom of the second. Let's see if we can get another rally going here. Dressler threw 19 pitches in the first. No walks yet. Parrish lines it to left. Good hustle by Signs. One out, and then Bass walks. There we go. So let's take a look. 70% to steal second. Pagnazzi is a 79. That's about as low as you can get. Uh, we are going to hit and run with Dawson. We have okay speed, and Dawson is a good hit and run hitter. All this small ball. As Dawson grounds it to short, Bass goes to second. And a chance for Solars to drive in the second run. Solars does have one hit this series. Oh, that was ball four. But he took a cut. And that's the third out. We go to the top of the third inning. It's Edler, Simpson, and Cruz. Dave Edler leading off. And a base hit into left field. So, speedy runner on first for Joe Simpson. Simpson bets 306 versus right handers, two for three in his career against Morris. Edler might be going. That no, doesn't matter. He's going to walk him anyway. Why can't Morris get strikeouts? He strikes out 12 in one game, 10 in another, and he can't. I, it must be this team. We have to pull the outfield in now. We cannot give up a base hit and let a run score. There we go. That seems like a good play. As Cruz flies up to center, Edler will hold since we were playing shallow. Okay, the likelihood of a double play here is very poor. Uh, but we're going to play. We're going to play regular depth. Here's Spike Owen, another thorn in our side. Fly ball to left, Gibby makes the play, and we have a chance to get out of this inning. We're going to have to go through Dave Henderson. He already has a home run against Morris today. That's the lone Mariner run. And a comebacker to Morris. Jack throws him out. We go to the bottom of the third. Good job by Morris. We've got Sweet Lou, Trammell, and Gibson up. One, two, and three. Here's Lou. Brown ball right to Owen. Had him played perfectly. One out. Next up is Trammell. And Trammell, two for two. Base hit up the middle. And an error by Henderson. He had an error in the game yesterday, right? So he's got... The Gold Glover's got two errors in the playoffs. Feel good about Trammell being in scoring position. Um, we're going to let Gibby swing away. He got off the schneid finally in his first at bat. And he rips it to right. Trammell will tag, go to third. Oh, no way! 90% chance this. This is. This is bad news. Because now we've been out on the base path. And uh, this is an open door now. We'll see if, if there's a flood of hits and box and Yeah, here we go. There's a walk. It's, there's nothing we can do about it now. Well, Pagnazzi does strike out. Um, okay. 
So this is a double play situation. If we can get a little luck here. Bocchi, good hitter. Oh, there's a wild, I told you it's coming. There's nothing we can do. Uh, we could walk, but we're not walking Bocchi to get to Pate. But that does take away the double play. So that is essentially means that run will score. Um, I guess we'll pull the outfield in just for the hell of it, but it, I mean, yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. Yeah, there's another walk. So, I mean, God, I, I don't know. Well, I guess we stay focused on what we can control, which is um, Bob Pate at the plate. No speed at all in the base path. So, we just got to hope he... Hits a ground ball. No, it's an error by Parrish. Oh, he did actually make the play. That little spinny ball down there. I always fear the worst. Two down. Edler's already got a hit against Morris today. Um, a, a hit here scores two. But we're going to play straight away. Oh, he strikes him out! Wow, that was clutch. But, uh, they, I mean, Morris now, I mean, with, uh, what, he's got two walks and a wild pitch. Uh, I think we're, we're barely holding on. But the game is tied at one if you go to the bottom of the fourth. We've got Hatcher leading off, and he strikes out. First K for Dresler. Hojo up next. And a ground ball to short. Two down. And a hit for Parrish. Nicely done. Make him work a little bit. No. Okay, runner on first. Two outs for Kevin Bass. I don't know where all of our power has gone. Another hit for Bass. He's been a nice surprise in the playoffs. Parrish moves up a bag. Now we just need Dawson to do something. Anything. Lines out. We go to the top of the fifth. Okay, so Morris has a tenuous grasp on this ball game, I would say. I know it looks like he hasn't done a lot of negative stuff, but we know that... Um, He's essentially one pitch away. He got a lot of soft hitters up, but they're all good against righties. Um, but we have to try, right? Here's uh, Joe Simpson. Down ball to second. Whitaker throws him out. There's one down. Next up is Julio Cruz. A ground ball to Johnson at first. Okay, made the play. If we could just get the lead, I could. I would be more than happy to get Murray in there defensively. And Spike Owen sends it into left center field. So a good job by Morris. Who gets through five. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We have Guy Salars leading off. All right, we're going to swing away. Not a lot of use for small ball yet. We have been hitting and running. As Solars grounds out. Sweet Lou up next. Another ground ball. It's not like we haven't been hitting Dressler. Just only the one clutch hit from um, Hatcher, and that'll do it. Three quick outs. We go to the top of the sixth. Three tough righties here. Henderson, Sines, and Pagnazzi do up for the Mariners. This could be the last inning for Morris. As Henderson hits a ground ball to Trammell, and Trammell boots it. Okay. Double play situation. Ricardo Sines strikes out. 
Three walks and three Ks for Morris. Pardon me while I have a little sip of my drink, my purple drink, my scissor. Okay. Um, one down. Okay, I catch a running here, so a ground ball could be a double play. Oh, they're definitely putting it in uh, the air against Morris. Two outs, and Bruce botched the up. This scares me. Because Henderson's safe at first on that error. There is a reason for that. And it might be right here. Yep. Every time, folks. Three to one. Well... We go to the bottom of the sixth. We just went one batter too far with Morris. Only three hits given up by Jack, but um, it's three to one, Seattle. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. Gibby floats it into left center field, and it falls in for a hit. Should be a double, but it's not. One out. So we've been thrown out twice. A wild pitch. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just... Well, I, well, look at Hojo! Pumping up. Home run into center field. And, uh, both times that we've had 90% chance advancing on the base pass, we've been thrown out. And uh, those two base running blunders might be the thing that costs us. Hojo two doubles, two triples and a home run in four games. We're going to have to somehow find it bats for him next year. Okay, so we're down a run. Again, just two years ago, this was the worst pitcher in baseball. He's only thrown one walk today as Parrish pops out. All right. We're going to let Morris pitch to Edler. Since he's a righty, then we're going to go to a lefty, probably Capazillo. Not the worst performance of the year for Jack, but um, he let us down when we needed him most there. We're going to bring in Cappy to go to these lefties. Capazello, uh, he did give up a run. Wow, and he's given up four walks and no strikeouts. Wow. Uh, that must have been the, the, one of the games where um, it was pretty much decided we were trying to get through it. Maybe we, So we, maybe we let him pitch to some righties in there. I don't remember how him pitching that poorly, but let's see if he can't get it back together. There we go, another K. And Julio... Strikes out. Tigers actually strike out the side. Go to the bottom of the seventh. Let's see if the uh, we got some momentum shift here. We got the home run. We got three Ks. And now we've got the bottom of the lineup due up. If we get somebody on base, we might have to bring Eddie Murray in over uh, Guy Solars. Let's see how it goes. Kevin Bass. Flipping it into left center field. Get down. There we go. Base hit. No. I mean, he's got a 59 arm. And you know he's going to be thrown out. Hit and run time for Andre Dawson. 0 for 2 on the day. Oh, I forgot to pull up the uh, in-game stats. Player of the game for us is definitely uh, Hojo. Let's uh, okay, so we have hit and run going here. Nobody out. Runner on first. Here's Dawson. If he swings and misses, I'm going to be pissed. All right, a ground ball up the middle. Bass will move into position. And um, I, we got to take out Solars and bring in Eddie Murray to pinch hit. Murray does have one hit. He's one for 13. He was an abomination all season. But in a situation like this with the season on the line, would you rather have Guy Solars or Eddie Murray at the plate? It's the right thing to do. 
Runner in scoring position. And Murray hits the ground ball to first. So at least he moves Bass over for Lou. Lou is 0 for 3. He is responsible for winning game one. He did hit the um, RBI that won the ball game. That was not intentional. But I'll take Trammell over Whitaker in this situation. Trammell is 2 for 3 today. 6 for 12 in his career against Dresler. Ground ball short. All right. So we got to fix the defense. So Murray goes to first. Hojo goes back to third. Um, yeah, we're. I mean, uh, Murray's a gold glover and a slight improvement. But Hojo at third does not make me feel comfortable. Uh, but it is what it is. Okay, season on the line, though. So we have to take this seriously with Spike Owen up. Does not hit lefties as good as righties as he flies out to left. So a much better performance from Capazello. Striking out two. We're going to bring in our setup righty, Dave Smith. How is he doing so far in the playoffs? Not good. One inning, giving up a run. Two walks and a hit. Here's Dave Henderson with one out. Dave Smith in the ball game. He walks him. Stolen base. Strikeout. And a fly ball to center. All right. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. I mean, we got Gibby, Hatcher, and Johnson up. Tigers have nine hits, and we're still losing this ball game thanks to two base running blunders. Gibby, ground ball. We are going to lose this damn series because of Rob Dressler. Never would have thought it. Unbelievable. All right, here we go to the ninth. I feel like I say it every every inning, but season's on the line. We're going to go match up against uh, Bochty, who's already hit a two-run home run today. Striking him out. Good job by Rucker. Now we're bringing in our closer, Roger Weaver, to face Bob Pate. Pate's 0 for 3. He's due. Oh, man, I thought he got it. On that 3-1 count. Swinging for the fences. Instead, it's just a loud out to right center field. Two down. Of course. He walks. Edler. We're going to guard the lines. Weaver gets lefties out just about as good as he gets righties out. It's under 200. There we go. Well, this is it. <laughs> I can't believe. I cannot believe we're on the verge of losing this ball game to Rob Dressler. A complete game, 107 pitches, giving up nine hits and two walks. And he's been so dominant. Whoa, Parrish floats it into left field. And it falls in front of signs. That is worthy of a pinch runner, which is our boy, Eddie Miller. We love Eddie Miller in this situation. Okay, so Miller on first. 77% chance to steal second. This is the whole season right here. We have to go. Everybody in the park knows he's going. Odds are in our favor. All 
That's it. We were thrown out on the base pass three times. We were never going to win this ball game. Tigers lose three to two. That is the season in a nutshell. And we're going to have to start Robbins tomorrow. Let's take a look at um, the headline news. Kip Young, former Tiger, we traded him to the Reds. Uh, take the fourth game of the NLCS. So that series is tied at two. That's actually the much more interesting series. At least um, the Mets are making a, a go of it. Let's take a look at the tr playoffs then before we go to the transactions. So yeah, series is tied at two. So they will go to six games, whereas we will probably wrap the season up tomorrow. Unfortunately, um, I'm I'm pretty pretty content pitching Bruce. Robbins, the left-hander, tomorrow. That'll make everybody in that lineup turn around. The only advantage is Bob Pate. I did the research on it. Bob Pate crushes left-handers. Hey, a couple more um, retirements. <laughs> Leon Brown finally retires. Uh, he went two for four in the season. I believe that was against us. Oh, you know, I guess it doesn't. Oh, he's retired, so the log won't be there. But I believe he went two for four against us in that one game. And uh, Bob Randall, who was a free agent, did not pitch, did not play in this uh, simulation. All right, transact. Oh, we did just did that. So let's pull up the box store and get out of here. Man, I mean, sorry. I mean, we, there was no way we were going to win that ball game. Hojo, though, as a player of the game for the third straight game, uh, a home run. I mean. We have to find a way to get Hojo some regular at-bats next year. And, uh, yeah, Hojo's player of the game. He did ground into a double play. Eddie Miller. Morris, hard luck loser. Um, yeah, the, the error by Trammell uh, was the two-run home run. And that was the difference. So I, I can't even blame that, blame that on uh, Morris. It was um, Trammell's fault. Who had actually a pretty decent year defensively, and the bullpen did what the bullpen was supposed to do. Rob Dressler. I don't know, man. I am just so bummed and disappointed. That's going to do it for today. We're going to come back tomorrow with Game 4. It'll be interesting with Bruce Robbins on the mound. Worth checking out. Until then, everyone, have a great night.